What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about how to use the extension Flowify to bend an object along the face of a sphere. So before I get started I do want to uh, say thank you to my newest Patreon supporter, HK Vutha. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me. Um, that's what helps uh, make this show possible. Um, any any support that I receive on that goes right back into making the show better. So if uh, you're interested in that, you like what I'm doing, please make sure to check out that link in the notes below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we've talked a little bit about uh, Flowify in the past, but in this case what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a couple logos and bend them along this face and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit of a sci-fi nerd and so uh, what I've got here is I've got the logos from Star Wars for the Empire and the Rebellion figured that'd be a good thing to use as kind of an example but basically what we want to do is we want to bend those along the face of this sphere so that they follow the curved face and that's what the extension Flowify is really good for so I'll link to the download for Flowify in the notes below but basically what we're gonna do the way, the way the extension Flowify works is it takes a flat object and it bends it along a face. And it does that by having a couple different reference lines in order for that to work. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to generate our face on our sphere. And uh, so the way that you can generate a sphere in SketchUp is you, um, you can use a pair of circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, this is a 24-sided circle, and remember the number of segments in your circle is going to affect how smooth your sphere is. But So I'm going to draw a 24-sided circle, and uh, I'll go ahead and probably make it about 3 feet in diameter. It doesn't really matter for this um, for this particular exercise how big it is you just it needs to be about the same size as these objects and so all you do is you draw another circle in the middle then you use the follow me tool to extrude that object in a circle to create your sphere so once you've created your sphere what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by standing it up so I'm just gonna select this object and uh, I'm gonna use the rotate tool just to stand this object up because basically what I'm interested in in this case is the hidden geometry on this face because we're going to use it to generate our square that we're going to build our uh, we're going to build our target face along and so what I'm going to do is I'm starting off and I'm just kind of placing this object so I'm just placing it in between these two objects and what we're actually going to do is we're going to move it off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and erase out my default model. We're going to move it off to the side and we're going to generate a face real quick. And so to do that we're going to turn on hidden geometry. So you're going to go to view hidden geometry. And I've got an old sample model in here that I needed to delete out. But basically, when you turn on hidden geometry, you can see all of these lines in here because SketchUp doesn't actually make curved faces with curves, it makes it with segments. So when you turn on hidden geometry, what happens is you can see all of the individual geometry in here that makes up your sphere. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to unsoften some of these lines. And the way hidden geometry works is for something to be hidden SketchUp calls that soft and so like for example if I was to come in here and I was to select these four lines and uncheck the box for soft those would come in here as actual geometry so if I turn hidden geometry off then you've got your whole sphere and then you've got this one piece right here that isn't hidden geometry and then to turn it back into that softened piece you just select your lines again and just check the box and then it's not gone but it's hidden again so you're gonna go to view hidden geometry and what you're gonna do is you're gonna select a series of these lines along this face so in this case one two three four five I'll go ahead and select six of these and then five of these so I'm basically just selecting the edges of an object so that we can unsoften them to create our target face. So go ahead and select a series of these edges. And then once you have all of those selected, go up here to the box that says soft and uncheck it. And so when you uncheck it, what that means is those are now in there as actual like usable geometry. So you can uncheck that box for hidden geometry and you can select this face as an individual face from the rest of it. So if you were to delete that out, you'd be able to see inside your sphere. 
So what we want to do is we want to create a copy of this face off to the side. And you could also do this directly on your sphere if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. In this case, I'm just moving it off to the side so that I can show you guys a little bit better the way that this extension works. So I just use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy off to the side over here. And by the way, I, I will also link to these um, logos. They're both in the 3D warehouse. I'll link to those in the notes below as well. All right, so you can see what I have over here is I basically have this geometry for my sphere, and then I have this object over here. And so first of all, I'm going to kind of center things up and I'm going to move this object back a little bit. And so the way the extension Flowify works is you give it three pieces of input. You give it a target face. So that's the face that you're going to bend this along. You give it a pair of lines off to the side and then you give it another face which is your flat face so you're basically going to take your object and you're going to put it on your flat face and you're going to tell Flowify this object that I put on my flat face I want you to bend it along this face right here and so we're going to start off and we're going to double click on this object and we're going to right click and click make group and then we're going to draw a pair of lines off to the side here and we're gonna put those in a group. And this grouping is very important, otherwise Flowify won't work. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the outliner to basically demonstrate this. So I'm gonna name this one Target Face. I'm gonna name this one Lines. And then now we're gonna draw our flat face. And we're going to put that in a group. And we're going to call that flat face. So what you should have is you should have three groups here. Your flat face, your lines, and your target face. And then you're going to take those three and put them in a group. So what you're going to have is you're going to have one group with three groups inside of it. This is very important because if you don't do this this way, then it's not going to work. Uh, the extension doesn't work. So now I've got a group with three groups inside of it. I've got target lines going from one corner to the other corner, so those correspond. All of those are in a group. And the way you can test to make sure this is working is you go up to Extensions, Flowify, and you're going to click Impose Grid. And if a grid shows up on this flat face, then you know you've done it right. And this is basically telling you how this is going to break up any object that you put on here. Because basically what it's going to do is it's going to break your object up and bend it along each one of these on this curved face. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this logo, I'm going to move it across, and I'm going to put it on this face. And I'm going to try to center it as best I can because wherever you place this on this face is where it's going to go on your spherical face over here. And you could also use the scale tool to make it bigger if you want to make sure to take up all of the space. Um, just make sure that it's actually on the face when you do that. And you can see how I'm kind of trying to keep everything organized as I go. And so one of the thing that's gonna, one of the things that's going to be important is inside your Imperial logo object, you need to make sure that this is raw geometry. So like for example, if you have a component inside of this or a group and you try to run this, you're going to get an error. So if I try to run Flowify like this, it's going to tell me that my source geometry must contain raw faces. So you need to have a single group containing only raw geometry. So you can't have a group inside a group and have this work. So now what I have is I have basically my target object over here and then I have my object that I'm going to bend. So I have two groups selected. I have my all of my target stuff and then I have my logo. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to extensions, Flowify, and I'm going to click Flowify. And what that's going to do is that's going to bend that object along that face. And you can see how it kind of broke that up um, along that face. So now what we can do is we can just move this directly across onto our sphere until you get to the point where it's all lined up. Or the other thing you could do is you could just select this whole object. Actually, here's what we'll do. We're going to take our object and select it. We're going to activate the move tool and we're going to use this corner as a base point. 
and you're just going to move your mouse across until you get to this corner. And so you see how it kind of locked onto that face right there. So we use this corner as our inference point to move that along this face. And so now you've got your logo in here that's bent along the face of your sphere. And the other thing you could do is you can use an extension like a selection toys. And you could come in here and you could do a select only of edges. And you could soften and smooth those. And you see how smooth, I don't really like the way that the smooth worked in that case. But you can soften all of your edges in there so that they don't show up. So you can't see kind of the quadrant in here. And then you can just come in, double click on this face to select the edges and then do a shift click. And you can just rehide your edges. So now you've got a smooth sphere with your logo bent along the face. So just real quick, and I'm probably not going to talk very much on this part, but I'll just go in and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so there you go. So now you have your object in here with your two logos bent along the face. And you can basically use this for any shape that uh, has four corners. I don't know that it'll work with objects that aren't rectangular, like that don't have four corners, but you can use this to bend a lot of different objects along a lot of different shapes. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Was it helpful to you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.